Okay, there are some tasks. Like if you have understood whatever I've taught before well, then there are some tasks that you should perform. First task is to demonstrate a file copy operation. Okay, if you have used terminal in Linux, which you definitely should have, there is a command known as cp. And in that command, I'll just write the command for you. You have to write cp and then you write the name of source file and then you write the name of destination file. So this is the role command. What this command does is that it takes material from the source file and it copies it and then pastes it to this destination file. This is what it does. This is what you have to do right now. What you have to do is take two um, names of different files from the user. Those two names will be for one will be for the source file. The other name will be for the destination file. And what you have to do is you have to open up that source file in read mode. You have to read that source file and save its content in some, some array. And then you have to open up that destination file in, in write mode. Right? You will open it in a, open it up in write mode and then you will whatever you read from the source file and, and saved it here, whatever you read, you have to paste this, you have to paste this in this destination. This is what you actually have to do. So I, I'll repeat again. You have to take two names, source file and destination file. Open the source file in read mode. Copy whatever it is written in it, or that means saving it in an array, and then open up the destination file in write mode. Whatever you copied from that source file, just paste in the destination file. You just write in the destination file. So it's, it's pretty easy and very simple. Let's discuss the second task. Let me just clean it up for you. Okay, so in the second task, what you have to perform is the cat operation. Okay, again, cat is a command used in the terminal. What does this command do? You, you write cat here. And then you write the name of any file. And this, what this command does is it reads that file and displays it on the screen. Just that. Okay. So it reads that file and displays on the screen. And you have to do exactly the same. You have to take the name of a file from user, any file name. And it, there must be something written in it, obviously, beforehand. And then you have to open up this file in which mode? Read mode. Obviously, you have to read it. You will open up this file in read mode. And then whatever the contents were, you will write those contents on screen. So this seems very easy. You just have to read the file and write on screen. But the technical part or the, the challenging part is that you don't have to write on the screen using printf, right? You don't have to write it using printf on the screen. So what you have to do is that you have to use another system call. Using that system call, you have to write it on screen. And I'm not going to tell which system call it is. Obviously, it is one of those four, open, read, write, one of obviously these, right? It is one, obviously one of these, but figure it out yourself. So it's just, let's see, it's, it's a bit challenging. What you have to do, okay, I'll give you one more hint. You have to use actually the right system call. You have to do something, you have to play around with something that right system call will be used to write on the screen in some, some way, some manner. Let's discuss the first task a little more so that you may can sum up. It's very easy, although uh, the algorithm or the steps for the first task is define a macro, what size of maybe one zero two four, whichever you want. Take source and destination file names from the user. I've just explained this before. Open the source file in read mode. Open the destination file in write mode, and then. Assign the, obviously this is very important. Assign different file descriptors to both of them. Important. Don't do that mistake. And then print error message if a file fails to open. Obviously, this is actually the key part of this whole task. Read the source file using read and store its length in a variable. This is this is actually the main thing. And then write the source file, the contents 
a source file to the destination. Keep reading from the source and writing the destination in a loop until the length is zero. Let's discuss the second task. It's the same. Take the file name from a user. Open the file using open system call. Print the error message if the file fails to open. Read the file using read and store the length in a variable. Copy the file contents to the screen. Keep reading and copying in a loop until that length is zero. Okay, let's see a coding example of copying. Just doing it so that we may find things a little more easier. This red part right here is actually the answer to the to the thing that I just asked you to figure out yourself before. So I just hit it so that you may do a little work so that you learn better. Okay, how can you find the length of whatever you have read? It's, it's that simple. That read system call actually returns a variable, an integer number, which is actually the length that it has read. So you can make use of it and make a loop until that length is greater than zero. Keep running the loop. When the length becomes less than zero, what you do? You get it. So when the length is greater than zero, you keep writing in the other file or the screen in this case actually, and then read that file. Alright? And again close it and then exit. 